Hi everyone, Peter Zellums, Greeny Flicks and um, Adventure 8. How are you? I'm at McMaster's Beach again. Well, why not? Um, it's local. So, I'm photographing this scene behind me. Um, it's the it's the headland at McMaster's Beach. Um, the equipment I'll be using today will be the Nikon Z6 with the FTZ adapter and I'm going to be using the uh, 20 uh, using the 70 to 200 f2.8 f mount lens let's see what's the result of the There's something that uh, my brother Rob and I used to do when we were kids and got, just got started into film photography using 35mm film as a way to improve our photography I suppose. We'd go out on an outing and we'd choose a subject and then we'd spend an hour or so and we'd see what sort of photographs we can take with that subject in mind. Now back in those days we were shooting slide film and there would be a turnaround of between two and four weeks before we can actually see the results. We'll be able to see the results straight away. So, I don't have my brother here right now. He's doing something else. But you as my subscribers and my viewers can be my partner here to see whether we can get some decent results of this headland. Okay. Um, right. I'll grab some shots now, so we're, it's about 4.30 in the afternoon. I'm thinking um, grab some handheld shots right now. I'll use, probably have to use a fairly fast shutter speed just to freeze some of the action down there. I'm thinking around the 500th of a second or maybe a thousandth of a second. Um, or handheld, so I guess the in-body image stabilisation will help. Probably shoot uh, f2.8. Use auto ISO and yeah, grab a few shots that way. Lens cap. shots. Um, I suspect that 200mm uh, from here is not close enough but we'll see what we can do with that. Uh, let the light drop a little bit more, maybe come back here when the sun's gone over the horizon. There's a lot of haze around the place but make some with some extended shutter speeds and see whether I can just get or see what happens to the water and the cliff. ideal conditions but I guess it never is it's the challenge is what you can do with the non-ideal conditions no such thing as ideal I suppose it's just what it is do what you can the lights dropped it's about seven o'clock in the evening right now and uh, we've got some nice colors in the clouds uh, on the horizon hopefully we can grab some decent shots we will find out.
so I'm mucking about with the exposures here and also with uh, how far I zoom in. Interesting. Um, I'll keep on experimenting, see what I can get. Well, the lighting is changing all the time. I'm doing some longer exposures. Um, the sky is having a bit of a pink in there, a bit of orange, and it comes and goes. Well, it's becoming a little bit more interesting, I think. It's getting really quite dark now. Can you see me? Can you see any lights? If I look around, you can see the silhouette of the, the light in the background there. It's getting quite dark. It's amazing how the camera picks up the light, uh, even when there's so little light. I guess with these longer exposures, you can, you can pick up some detail and some colours. Anyway, we'll finish off with a bit of a slideshow, and uh, I'll put in the details of the apertures and shutter speeds and ISO and, um, and the focal lengths. Hope you've enjoyed this uh, video. Do subscribe. Really appreciate your comments. Do like. And we'll see you on the next video. Cheers.